Hey there, my name is Travis Saul Britton, and I'm gonna show you in this video how to use cast magic with Buzzsprout if you host your podcast on Buzzsprout. I spent four years as the head of content at Buzzsprout before founding Honest Podcast, which is a podcast production agency. And I use cast magic every single day for my clients in producing their podcast content. So I wanna walk you through what cast magic does, how you can use it for the things that you're gonna need to put into Buzzsprout once you have your finished edited episode, and then talk about some things that Cast Magic does really well that I think set it apart from other AI-based show notes kind of generators and transcript creators, and also why I prefer it over Buzzsprout's in-house product co-host. So first and foremost, once you open up Cast Magic and you've set up your show, it's really simple to get started. All you have to do is click upload files, and then you can drag and drop audio files or link to YouTube videos that you have. And as you upload it into Cast Magic, once the file's there, it'll start processing it. And the first step that it always does is it creates a transcript. Here we're able to identify the episode number. This is gonna be audio right here. And we're gonna change all this later. Uh, I'm the speaker, so you can go ahead and just add me as the speaker that there's only one person expected. Uh, I don't have a guest in this episode. And then save recording. And now, it's actually going to start processing it. So it's taking that audio in, it's processing it, and then once it's generated the transcript, then it will pull in all the AI content. So if we open up an older episode, you can see what this looks like. So right here at the transcript, it has a full edited transcript of your show. So when I say edited, that means that it's taken out some of the filler words, it's taken out some of the things that uh, transcription softwares like Otter typically leave in, which is really more like word vomit, it's technically an AI generated transcript or a computer generated transcript, but it leaves a lot to be desired. It's not very readable. CastMagic's transcripts are by far the best uh, computer generated transcripts I've ever seen. And what's great is that even in here, you can edit the transcript. And so for one thing, uh, typically the transcripts get my last name wrong. And so I can just come in here, save the edit, boom. Got my edit right there. And if you need to play something back and listen to it again, you can play anywhere in the transcript to see what the words were if you really wanna uh, dig into it. But then you can download the transcript in any format that makes sense. So Buzzsprout takes text right here or SRT, either one will work. Uh, and then this is a transcript that you can add into Buzzsprout in that feature. And we're gonna talk about that in here a second. But AI content is really where Cast Magic shines. So this is where you can get all kinds of written assets both for the show notes and different details that you want with your podcast, but then also for promotional purposes as well. So it'll give you a bunch of different titles to use, uh, show notes prompts that you can just copy and paste in. This one's actually a custom one, so I'm gonna dig into that here in a second. Keywords that you can look at, an intro, uh, time-stamped overview. So this is really great for chapter markers and things like that. And then also it has a lot of different ideas for things that you can repurpose to promote on social media. Right, and so here uh, you have a and A section. There's key topics and bullets. So if you want to have those kind of details in your show notes or in when you're promoting a new episode, saying, "Hey, here are the top three things that you're going to learn," it's generating these things automatically just by looking at the transcript, which is pretty phenomenal. Uh, this is one of my favorite features, the Clip Finder. So this is where uh, it will actually go through and identify the best quotes or you know, things that were said, things that were punchy, things that were relevant, things that will uh, really help someone see the value in listening to this podcast and highlight them with timestamps, which is phenomenal because if you're clipping audio or you're clipping video, then this shows you exactly where in the episode to go. So when we're creating shorts and reels to promote uh, our podcasts, this is a huge feature that we really love to use. And then here it does all kinds of creative different applications, right? So a real script would be something that you can record after the fact that you can uh, do as like a summary to promote your episode. It has templates for LinkedIn posts for if you have an email and you're distributing a newsletter, it'll write the whole newsletter for you. And so there's all these really great written assets that you can use and deploy for your podcast to make your life a lot easier once you're finished with doing the hard work of recording and editing your podcast. So now let's actually go through all of this stuff and we're gonna upload this podcast into Buzzsprout and I'm gonna show you how we, how you can use AI, Cast Magic, to do this. So here you can just choose a, uh, a title that you like. If you don't like any of these titles, you can regenerate, it'll come up with new ones. Um, but let's just say we like this one. 
Don't neglect existing customers. Lessons from Bud Light's marketing fail. It's a pretty good title. So you just come back here, copy, paste, boom, we're done. Episode description. So here I've actually uh, altered the show notes for my podcast uh, to really hone in on exactly what I want. And so here, all I have to do is copy and paste this in and then delete a couple things. And it's exactly the way that I want. So I can go in here, I can copy, paste, and then I'm just cleaning up some of the formatting. But listen, like this is so much better than having to generate my own show notes every single time that I want to do something. And uh, you can even add notes in like, you know, don't include uh, these little quotes and things like that. But it really is as easy as copy and paste. And what's great, again, is that you're going to be able to tweak these show notes to exactly what you want them to look like. This is how you do it. You just copy and paste stuff in and you're good to go. The other thing that you can do is you can add chapter markers and transcripts. So once this episode processes, we'll be able to go back in and actually add those things in. So with the transcript here, you can view and edit your chapters. So these are all chapters that Cast Magic produced for this podcast episode, this previous episode, and uh, they're all spot on. And so that's really great. And then for the transcript, you're able to go in and have a really great transcript associated with your podcast. Uh, just as a quick tip, if you export an SRT file and upload it to Buzzsprout that way, then podcast apps that support closed caption will actually be able to pull in the transcript and ingest it as captions so people can read along as they listen, which is pretty great. But now this podcast has been completely processed, so I can go in, I can add the transcript, I can add the chapter markers, I can create a visual soundbite, which is a promo tool that Buzzsprout has. And so all you would have to do is go down here and find, you know, where's a good uh, clip that I really like that is 60-ish seconds or so. And then once I find one, then I'm like, boom, that's what I'm going to use in order to promote this episode. So it makes the creation of all these different things really easy and straightforward. And you're not having to start from a blank page every single time. Now, why do I love Cast Magic over Cohost, which is a new AI tool that Buzzsprout has built in? Well, it's the ability for you to use Magic Chat. Magic Chat really is the game changer that I think makes Cast Magic a really great tool for podcasters because you're able to create custom prompts based on what your needs are. So if you're trying to create blog posts for your website, that correspond with uh, your podcast, you're able to create custom prompts here, like this one, write a 600 word blog post about insert topic, and that topic could be pulled directly from the episode. And you're also able to give specific instructions about the format that you want it to use and how you want it to do it uh, in here as well. So I've talked about for the show notes, how we have uh, customized this show notes prompt. So if I go in here and I edit the prompt, you can actually see the instructions that I've given it. And so I'm telling it, you know, tone should be captivating, insightful, engaging, and casual, right in the first person from the uh, perspective of the host, use conjunctions, basically telling Cast Magic, this is the kind of approach I want. This is the writing style I'm looking for to make it sound like me. This isn't something that you're able to do within Buzzsprout. And then I'm also able to identify exactly what I want for every single section of the show notes. So I can say, hey, I want you to start with an engaging question or statement that's pulled from the title. Uh, for the intro, I want one sentence and begin the sentence with these different kinds of options. And I give it multiple to choose from. So that way it's not just starting it the same way every single time. You know, I can say, hey, for the next part, I want one paragraph and I want the paragraph to begin with one of the things that we talked about, followed by three of the most important things discussed in the episode. So I can very specifically say exactly what I want my show notes to be every single time generated from the transcripts. And so what's really great is that once it's done, you're just kind of combing through this to make sure that yeah, this all looks really great. This is exactly what I'm hoping for. And then when you copy and paste it in, you're already 99% done. And what's really great about this, specifically Magic Chat, is that you don't necessarily have to figure out how to do it all yourself. In the Slack community that Cast Magic has set up, you can go in, there's a whole thread completely devoted to Magic Chat, to people's favorite prompts, and even getting help if you're having trouble with the prompt and you're not sure exactly how to tweak it and tailor it to your needs, you can say, hey, I'm wanting to do this. This is what I'm currently running into. Here are the problems, obstacles I'm running into. And you'll have a bunch of people come in and help you tweak it to make sure that you're getting the output that you need for whatever application that you need it for. Okay, so that's how you can use Cast Magic to really speed up your workflow if you're hosting your podcast on Buzzsprout and how you can generate everything that you need within Cast Magic without any issues.